Now, our last blog, we were at Donington Park to answer the suspension question, where KTEC, the gods of suspension, changed the internals on the front forks of the CBR600RR to 20mm piston kit, aftermarket, bespoke suspension, to see if it made a difference to lap times. It did, near enough 10 seconds a lap, from two minutes down to around about 151 and a shade over. So when KTEC suggested we come back to Donington Park to test a rear shock, well, who am I to say no? This is the standard CBR600RR rear shock. On its own, not a bad piece of kit. But when you get some professional kit, and I'm talking 35mm DDS, KTEC aftermarket shocker, what's the difference? I can tell you there's a difference, and I know because the shocker that I've just run around Donington with is the one that came from Gino Rear's World Supersport bike. And it is a piece of kit. Come and have a look at this. Now this piece of kit not only looks amazing, but it works. Lap times not been an awful lot quicker than we were doing last time for the simple fact that we've lost most of the day to damp, wet conditions and we've only managed to get on it for the last couple of sessions this afternoon. The difference in feel is astounding. When you're coming out of the faster corners like Redgate and the old hairpin and you want to accelerate and put the power down, the old shock just doesn't feel stable. This piece of kit in there is as firm as anything and you come out the corner and you can hold the gas and you can hold it hard and you can feel the back of the bike working the tyre into the tarmac. The level of grip is phenomenal. Now, John McGuinness and Ian Hutchinson are both on track and whatever I'm going to do, I'm never going to be anywhere near the level that those guys are with traction control and all the aftermarket trickery. But if you want to get on a track day and you want to go fast, and certainly if you want to go racing, that's the kind of kit that you want to have on your bike. Okay, you're talking over a thousand pounds for a shock. Not everybody can afford that. I'm sure that just getting the standard shock and doing some machine work by KTEC would make all the difference as well. And maybe that's an issue for another blog. But for now, does suspension make a difference? We've answered that on the front, uh, on the front end of the bike as a resounding yes. On the back end of the bike, absolutely yes. Together as a package, amazing. www.bridgestonebikersclub.co.uk forward slash Clarkey. We'll see you for another blog next time.